Hi guys, this tutorial today is for a crochet bikini top and the sizing that I'm using is for larger cup sizes from a D to E cup I would say but adjustable for all sizes and the way I make the cups means it can be a fuller shape without losing that really pretty triangle bikini feel and starting to feel too covered up or bulky. So I'm using a very soft four ply cotton which means this one is, is very soft and comfy but the halter neck straps and the adjustable back mean I can still have it be supportive enough to feel confident in. So hopefully you enjoy and that's enough talking, let's get started. So we'll start off by making a simple slip knot and then we're going to do a chain um, of 20 for this size cup. But you might want to change this slightly. This will be the length from the top of your bust to the center. Um, and so you can measure that yourself and you might want to make it bigger or make it smaller. But for me, it was 20. And then once we get to the end of that row, we're going to start working on that first top part of the bra cup. So here I'm just finishing up the 20 chains. And then once you've got to the end, what you want to do is just add one more. And then we're going to start working half double crochets back along the row. So yarn over, go into that second chain from your hook, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that's your half double crochet. And so we're going to continue doing that stitch all the way down. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three until the end of the row. And you should have 20 half double crochets or however many you chained, minus one to begin with, um, when you finish that first row. So now I'm just working into the last chain and putting in that final half double crochet. And then what I'm going to do is continue making rows of half double crochets just like that until we have um, what is the kind of the square shape at the top of the, the top of the bra cup until the width that you're going to make is equivalent to the height or the length or whichever way around <laughs> you, you get what I mean so here what you're going to do is chain one turn your work and half double crochet all the way to the end so look for that first stitch um, underneath your hook which is that little V stitch yarn over and start your half double crochets all the way to the end and then repeat that until you have the equal length, width, height, whatever way you want to call it, of the square. Okay, so this is what mine looks like when I'm done. I'm just going to put in that um, last half double crochet to finish this bit off. And then we can start working to make the full bra cup shape. So now um, what we're going to do is start working down the other side. So if you yarn over and you go into the side of that row, continuing around, and put in a half double crochet, here I'm just struggling to get my hook through um, the yarn, you can see that um, each of the rows you can put in a half double crochet all the way along until you get to that other corner. So I've just put in that last half double crochet and now I'm going to chain one and um, now we can start working into like the fullness at the bottom of the cup. So um, turn your work and then you want to half double crochet into all of the stitches along, chain one, work your way back for um, as many rows basically as you need. So here I'm just putting in that last half double crochet, working all the way around that side. And then what I'm going to do is chain one, turn my work and work back around. And I'm going to do that for um, another 19 rows. So I'll have 20 in total after that initial row that we made working around. So I'll have 20 repeats at the bottom. You might want more and you might want less. I would say as you go along, just keep checking you feel like it fits. And when you feel like it's big enough, um, 
then obviously stop so you don't have to do 20 rows in total you might want more um, so you can really make it work for you by just adjusting these things as you go along now we've um, finished the actual main shape of the bra cup we can start working around the edges so I decide to do three rows of half double crochet and then the decorative double crochet row on the end just to add a bit of width to the cup and it just made it a bit more coverage and it made me feel a bit kind of more comfortable with the shape and I also think the kind of detail of it looks really nice around the edge of the cup. So here you can see working along the side it's putting in um, one half double crochet per row just like you did before when you were going round the edge when you had your little square and you were working along one side um, you're working all the way around up to the top of the cup and down the other side and then obviously leaving the bottom of the cup you don't need to add the half double crochet to the bottom because that's where we'll start adding the band So when you've worked out one side, you're then at the top point of the bra cup. And so um, on this corner, we want to just keep the corner shape. So add in one half double crochet into that last um, row at the side, and then yarn over and add in one more half double crochet in the same space, um, just to keep some of that structure. And then just keep adding one half double crochet all the way back down to the other side. Um, and then we'll meet down at the end to start our next half double crochet rows. So here I've finished um, one row of half double crochets all around the two sides that make the triangle of the bra cup and I'm going to chain one, turn my work and do exactly the same thing back around and then when I've done that, I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and do it one more time. So I'll have three rows, and I'll end up back on finishing on this side where we started from. Um, remember to just add in those two half double crochets when you get to the corner at the top, which I'm just doing here again, just to remind you. And then um, just remember that if you don't want it to be as wide, you don't have to do three rows. You could just do one and then do the decorative. Um, but it can help kind of make the bra cup a bit wider and more proportional, especially because this is for a bigger cup, you might feel like you need that extra um, coverage at the top. So this is three rows of half double crochet done around the side, and I think it's just looking really nice. I really like that finishing around the edge and so now we can add in the um, double crochet detail so when you get to the end chain three and turn your work and then yarn over and instead of working into that first stitch um, I work into the second one skip the first one work into the second one um, and add in your double crochet so pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then what we're going to do is add one chain in between each of the double crochets. So chain one, again, skip the next stitch and go into the stitch after and put in your double crochet. And continue that up until you get to that top corner again and then I'll show you what we do up here. So when you found at the top the um, stitches where you'd last put in two half double crochets, you can see there it kind of goes around the corner at the top and you can see the two half double crochets. What you want to do is um, put in your half double crochet, you've chained one, and put in another, sorry, another double crochet in the same space. So you've put in a double crochet, chained one, put in another double crochet, and you can see it causes that little V double crochet um, in that very top stitch. And that's going to be important for us for attaching the straps afterwards. So then you need two bra cups, so you're just going to repeat all of those steps to make a second bra cup. So now we can make the band. So I actually made the full length band off camera, but what I'm going to do is just show you in a smaller swatch how to make it, because it's really simple, it's just using the half double crochets again. So what you want to do is chain as many as you need to fit comfortably 
um, under your bust, around your back, leaving about an inch to an inch and a half gap between the bands. So it doesn't need to go all the way around because we'll be adding the straps to make the, the um, crossover back. So here, to show you the swatch, I'm going to do um, 10, so it will be quick and easy to see. But I did um, 160 for me to go around my back with um, a gap of an inch at the back. So once you've added, you've chained as many as you need, chain one extra so you can start your half double crochet row. And then as always, yarn over and put in your half double crochet and do um, a row of half double crochets all the way back. Okay, so that is one half double crochet row done. Um, and then what we're going to do is um, to kind of increase the, the height of the band more quickly and add in a bit of texture, um, I then did half double crochet and then double crochet rows. Um, so here, once I've sorted out twisting my yarn around itself, I've chained two and then you're going to work into the stitch immediately under um, the first one you have available and make sure you catch them at the end. So you should have the same number of double crochets as you just did half double crochets in your previous row. Now, if you um, are like me and you put in one chain at the end for the half double crochet rows rather than two, they do roll over a little bit at the end, so just make sure you get into that very last one. I do prefer doing it like this because I think it makes a straighter and neater edge and you get less of those bulky, um, kind of bumpy edges. But if you've done two, that's totally fine. Just make sure you go into that very last one. So you can see here um, that I then repeated half double crochet and double crochet rows four times. So I ended up with eight rows, um, alternating half double crochet, double crochet. Um, and after I'd done that, I then finished off at the top with an extra row of half double crochet. So imagine that I've got eight rows here, alternating half double and double crochets. And this is your final finishing half double crochet row. So here I'm just pointing out that this is the final row. And this is then what we're going to work the half double crochet um, pattern into to um, go along with the edging on the bra cups. So as before, when we were working on the cups, chain three to start off, and then what you're going to do is start working those double crochets into um, each, every other stitch. So skip your first stitch, work into the second stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch and work into the one after that, all the way until the end of the row. So to finish off the band here, once you've got to the end of your double crochet detailing, um, what I like to do here, just because it's an end that needs to be more secure because it's I haven't got as much to weave it into, um, what I like to do is um, to actually chain two, pull that through and then tighten that as a knot so it's more secure and then you can leave an end to still weave in but it's less likely that it's going to come unraveled. So pull that tight and then we will just grab a, um, a needle and um, weave that through that double crochet and then down into the rows, the main rows of the band and so it'll be nice and secure and it won't come unraveled at any point.
Then when you've got it pretty much woven in, you can just um, tug that little knot through and it will hide inside the double crochet really nicely. So just don't forget to weave in all the other spare yarn tails that you have on the band and on the cups maybe, and then we can get started on the straps. So these are really simple because they're just chains. So um, I chained uh, 200 for each of the straps because I wanted them to double over. So um, now I have my super long chain of 200. I'm going to show you how to attach the straps to the top of the cup. So find that chain space that you made where you double crocheted into the same stitch and you added a chain in between. And that is the point at the top of your bra cup. Put your hook through and then pull through the, um, the chain that you just made. And what you want to do is just pull out the ends so that they're the same length for when we tie them together. Um, and just pull, keep that your thumb in the loop and, and tug them so they're at the same length. And just adjust that as you need. And then what you're going to do is grab those two ends and pull them through the uh, loop that you've got on the other side and then just pull to make a knot and it's literally as simple as that and it's a really secure knot that it makes and it's really neat um, and uh, it looks really good at the top of the bra cup I think and it's not fiddly which I like because I hate when you have the fiddly things to do with the straps um, so then just to show you how I finish these off at the top uh, keeping the two together at the same length I'm just making a knot, a normal knot with both of the yarn tails and I like to pull the knot so that it's um, just right at the end, you know, just keep kind of, um, don't let it get too loose and gradually work it so it goes right over the end and up to the end of where the straps are to keep them nice and secure and keep it neat. And then what you can do is add a second knot if you want to, it might be secure enough for you, um, but I like to put in two knots. Um, just the peace of mind that it's secure and add that knot straight after the previous one and then once you're done with that you can just chop down the um, very ends of the straps so that um, those little yarn tails are a bit shorter. So now we can attach the, um, the band to the bra cups. So what I've done here is just laid it all out and pinned it all together and I've pulled out my measuring tape so that I've made sure there's an equal distance between the edge of the band and where the bra cups start. So for me it is um, five inches in total at each end and then what I've got is just um, a pin at the, at the edge of each of the cups to keep it secure as I'm working along and just so I don't have to keep reattaching things as I go. So now here I did, um, I still had the yarn attached from when I did the second cup, so I'm just continuing straight on with that yarn ball, but if not, then it's fine, just cut a new piece. Um, and I did four backwards and forwards in terms of length to make sure I definitely had enough. Um, I would probably just err on the side of caution and do a little bit more if you think it might be short, because there's nothing like getting almost all the way through and then not having enough yarn, it's such a pain. So this is really simple, we're basically just going to do a whip stitch all the way along to um, attach the cups to the band. So here I'm just starting off by pulling that yarn in through to start them off together. And then um, what I like to do is to do two whip stitches um, attaching that last two chain that's kind of like your first double crochet um, to make sure it's nice and flat and secure against the band. So what I'll do here is I'll just stop talking at you and I'll just show you what I'm doing as I put the whip stitches in.
So here I just skipped a few of the stitches in between because my camera ran out and I didn't realise it wasn't filming. Um, but basically I'm just adding a whip stitch into each, um, each stitch and each chain behind. So um, it's kind of easy to see once you get going. You can just see you're working into each one. Really simple. And then when you get to this middle bit, add in your, your final two... Um, whip stitches into the double crochet and then the middle bit here I decided to just add an extra one that pulled out that corner chain stitch just to make it even neater at the front because obviously you're going to see that front bit more than you see the side and I really wanted it to keep that square shape um, so that worked quite well and then to get between the two cups you just want to weave in and out a couple of times um, across the the kind of structure you've already got and you can't see it at all um, and then start exactly the same thing from the other side so I added that extra whip stitch into um, what is essentially the third chain I think or it might be the corner of the second chain I think it's the corner of the second chain actually yeah um, of that square detail at the bottom and then add in your two whip stitches continue all the way to the end and you're done And then it's all sewn together and it's really exciting because you're suddenly like, oh, I actually have a bikini top <laughs> all of a sudden. So you can see here, if I just um, zoom in on the connection, it looks really neat underneath. You really can't see it at all. It looks really seamless. And then here I've got the um, straps on. And so the only thing that we have left to do is to add the back straps. So for the back straps, I did 150 chains which is quite long, but I, I like having a lot of spare um, chain to um, tie the bow because I hate it when they're too short and you can't tie the bow. So here I just uh, finished off the end of that chain by pulling the yarn through and cutting off. And then all I'm gonna do is add knots in the end like I did for the straps um, so that they're secure. So thread your yarn tail of the chain um, through your needle and then we're just going to basically weave in and out. So I like to weave it in through the half double crochet rows because I feel like it pulls less than with the double crochets. Um, so what I like to do is to start off decide um, where you're going in at the top. So go in at that top corner on both sides and then just pull that chain through from one side to the other. So what I like to do here is just pull out those straps so they're roughly about the same length when you're working with them, but don't worry because obviously you just adjust them fully at the end and then just pull this out so you've got a bit of space to work into. Then I like to do the crossover into uh, four rows lower which is the second lot of half double crochet rows so that you can properly see the cross. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just um, take my needle and then work across diagonally into that four rows down the second half double crochet row and start making that crisscross at the back.
then working into um, two more half double crochet rows down, so the next four rows down to keep those crossovers equal. And then from there you can just adjust the straps so that the length of the ends are equal. So just work back up and um, loosen and tighten until they're about the same. And then that's done. You can basically just tie the bow at the bottom where you need to put it on. You can make it looser to take the band off, tighten it up when it's on you. And it's just a really easy way of making it fit really well at the back. So the only final thing is just to neaten off the ends of those straps. So I'm just going to chop off the ends to make them a little bit shorter. And then that is done. So the final thing I did here, I decided to add one more detail. And I did another chain of 100 to make a little um, crossover bow to try at the front in between the cups um, just for a little bit more coverage again and also just because um, I think it kind of ties the look together with the tie that you've got at the back and then having the tie at the front so like I said it was just a chain of 100 and then I'm just weaving it in and out um, like we did at the back and putting it in every other double crochet um, going up a couple and then just tying it off um, to finish And here it is, finished. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, making this and you managed to make yours to fit you perfectly and um, you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did enjoy and you do want to like and subscribe, that would be amazing. So um, have a great day wherever you are and whatever time it is and looking forward to seeing you next time.